often you need to push a wall out or pull it in. And the way to do that is to set a brace and then use a kicker to move it one way or another. So when you go to attach your brace at the top, you want to make sure that your brace, the bottom corner of your brace, is sitting in between the double top plates. If you put your brace up on top, it's just going to get in the way of your joist when you go to roll your joist. So brace comes down, bottom of the brace, in between the two plates, and once you've got it where you want it, have your nails run horizontal with the ground if you can. If you drive them in at a horizontal angle, then as the pressure on the brace starts to come up, instead of pulling the nail out, it'll actually bend the nail and the nail will hold in the wood. I usually put three or four nails through my brace into the plate. So when you set your brace, you want to set it over the top of a floor joist. And the idea is, if you nail in this way, as the brace comes up, it'll naturally want to pull those nails out. So you really want to try and angle them to a sharp vertical angle and nail them home. Now, if we were going to pull this wall in, I could nail the bottom now and move on. But actually, we're going to try and push the wall out a little bit. So we have one other step to do first before we nail the bottom of it. To push the wall out, you're just going to sit on the wall. See how it's pushing that back? And depending on how much you need to move is how much you're really going to drive that board in. I get it centered over the floor joist and nail them home. Now with the bottom nail, you can see we've got a nice belly in this board. Now to push it out, what we do is we lift up on the brace and it straightens. By straightening it out, it pushes on that wall. Okay, but this is a pretty gross instrument. Now, if, we, if it's down and we just want to push a little bit, we could take a kicker, put it in there, and just fine tune it. Just bring the board up a little bit so it's just pushing a little bit. If we really need to push it the full way, Go ahead and take your board all the way up, push it all the way out, and then if you have to bring it back in a little bit, it's the same idea. The kicker comes in, and then just by lifting up, you're creating an opposite curvature that brings the wall in. If it's requiring too, you know, more strength than you have, or you want to really fine tune it, you can also use your cat's paw by just working it up in there and using it as a lever to move that kicker along and you can be as light or as aggressive as you want. If it were plumbing and lining, there would be a guy looking at a string on the wall and will tell you exactly when your wall is straight. Depending on how much you've worked this thing, there can be a lot of pressure on this whole apparatus and this is the danger moment. So when you go to nail the bottom, it's a good idea to put your, your body across it. It keeps pressure on there, and then that way if this thing kicks out, it just, your body will take it and it won't hurt. And then when you nail it home, try not to move the bottom too much because you move the bottom over, you're gonna change the pressure on the brace. Come up top, always keep pressure on it, and then you're gonna put a nail through the brace into the kicker. And now it's secure and you can walk away from it. Now that your wall is permanently set, it's best to take the bottom of the brace out first. If you kick the kicker out, then all the pressure that's in this system can push back on the wall and potentially move it. So you just come along and give it a good whack and it'll pop right up. And that releases all the pressure down and then you can dismantle the rest of it.